Hello, my name is Pat. Um, and like um, people all over the world just now, um, I'm feeling the impact of the pen pandemic crisis, which means that I'll be spending a lot more time in the garden. The garden is a place where I can relax and just be with what is. Um, regardless of what's going on in my life um, and even knowing that there might be a lot of work or what the Fintorn Foundation prefers to call love in action to do in the garden. In the garden um, I like to be aware of or to put it another way to listen to what the garden is um, saying to me and with this in mind I'd like to um, say something about what um, uh, is, is, can be quite challenging for gardeners who like to be nice and tidy in the garden. I'm not actually a very tidy gardener myself, but you see this? I find this really quite challenging um, because I think it looks quite neglected and I really so much want to tidy it up. However, I've learned that um, gardens need these untidy places and um, uh, I try to leave them alone now. For example, you see these leaves here? Um, I know that if I turned them over, I would find a few ladybirds hibernating. But I don't want to, do, to disturb them because I think it's too early for them to be woken. Lots of insects and um, other creatures live in this kind of, well, well, they overwinter in this dead matter. And it's all part of the, the natural cycle of life in the garden. One year, um, I left a big pile of um, uh, plant and shrub cuttings lying on the ground. And I've often wondered if um, uh, this helped to create what looked like a, a large cloud of hoverflies um, in the garden that summer. It was such a joy to just stand in the sunshine and be with these hoverflies as they um, collected pollen from the flowers, along with the the bumblebees and the honeybees and the butterflies. And um, just a few days ago, um, uh, I was watching a pair of blackbirds collecting bits and pieces to help with building their nests. It's in these moments that um, I feel uh, quite humbled and um, in awe of uh, what nature can show us humans about living in harmony um, with our world, especially now. And so, from this garden, I would like to send you love and light wherever you are whatever you may be doing and however you may be feeling in these challenging times. <laughs>